Let's remember we collected all of this data in order to find a response to this investigation question. How do some traits become more common over many generations while others become less common? Remember, we're trying to circle this back around to our newts, which we know became more poisonous over time. And we're trying to understand how and why that exactly happened. So let's take the data that we just gathered with our Australopes and let's apply it to the situation. And we're going to be doing that through a turn and talk. So turn and talk to your friend or a family member. You can text them if they're watching this video with you. You could also just take your pen and paper and jot your responses down to help make sense of this data that we just collected together. First, what pattern describes the relationship between how long an Australope lived and how many offspring it had? Second question, which Australopes became more common over time and why? Third question, which Australopes became less common over time and why? And fourth question, if the color of the environment became blue, which oscillopes would you, do you think would become more or less common and why? Pause the video, turn and talk to your friend, text someone that's watching this video with you, jot your answers down, and I want you to think about these four questions considering the data that we just collected together via the sim. Go ahead, pause the video now. I hope you had a chance to talk about these questions with someone around you um, because it's so important as scientists for us to collaborate with others and do some sense making here. Um, let's collaborate together right now so we can make sure we're all on the same wavelength about what we noticed. So the first question, what pattern describes the relationship between how long an astrolobe lived and how many offspring it had? So what I noticed in the simulation that we did together is that when an astrolobe was able to live longer, it was able to have more time and more opportunity to reproduce and thus um, had a higher average number of times it reproduced and a higher average number of offspring. So that's what the relationship is here. When the Australop lives longer, it has more opportunities to reproduce and have offspring. Now for the second question, we already kind of did this together, but just to reiterate the fact that which Australopes became more common over time and why, those were the Australopes with a yellow color of seven, which we already went over right here. So those yellow color seven Australopes had the highest average number of uh, times that they reproduce and thus the higher average number of offspring. Now, here's the important part. We didn't really kind of get to why. Um, I think from what I saw in the simulation, why those Australopes had the higher average number of times that they reproduce and the higher average number of offspring is because they were able to blend in and camouflage into the environment as well. In our environment, in the simulation, it was a color level of seven. So naturally, those oscillopes that also had a color of seven were able to blend in more and escape those carnathons for a longer duration of time. And so therefore, they had more opportunities to reproduce. Now, question number three, which oscillopes became less common over time and why? So what I notice is that um, our blue and our yellow, blue level one and yellow level 10, um, on those two extremes became less common over time because they stood out a little bit more in the environment. So neither of those um, match the environment and blue number four didn't either, but to a lesser extent, Blue one and blue and yellow 10 both um, were at the extremes where they popped out of the environment more. And because they were not able to blend in, that makes them more likely to be eaten by the carnathons. So therefore, they were not able to reproduce and therefore they became less common over time. Now, here's a prediction question. That was question number four. If the color of the environment became blue, which Australopes do you think would become more or less common and why? So 
if we change the environment color to a blue, I think those ostrolopes with a blue color one or blue color four would become more common because these two would then have more opportunities to reproduce because they're able to blend in to that uh, environment that would have a blue uh, color. And so because they're able to blend in more, they'll be able to reproduce more and thus have more offspring. And as we know, those parents are carrying the genes for the blue trait. So therefore, their genes would, uh, would um, be expressed as uh, the trait of blue color because they're able to reproduce more in, um, in an environment that is also blue.